Zumba class. Yep. Three, two. You, you're not getting out of that bounce house. <laughs> I bounce it. Boom. <laughs> 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 This is so dumb. Who do I think that I am? Why do I have a sophisticated mic? It's because someone ripped me a new asshole in the comment section about the audio. So I, in like, at like 5 p.m., I bought literally every mic on the market and we're just gonna test them out in different variations. Mic number one, testing, testing, oh. Uh. <laughs> I literally look like a newscaster. Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. Listen, I just want to say something that I was, it was mind blowing to me when I first heard it, which is the fact that, I mean, maybe it really came at a time where I needed to hear it, but hopefully it helps one of you. If you want to keep a toned, muscular, like you want that curvy booty, you want that fitness bod, what do you do? You keep going to the gym. Imagine you reach your bod goal, your physical health bod goal, what do you do? Do you just stop going to the gym altogether the minute that you reach that goal? It would not be a smart idea. Like you would lose a ton of progress. The same is for mental health. Going to therapy is like going to the gym. It means you're investing in yourself to keep your mind healthy. I get it, it's not the best analogy in the world, but it really helped me realize, okay, I need therapy all the time. Not just when I'm not happy or not just when something big happens all the freaking time. So I can really maintain my mental health and prioritize it. BetterHelp has made it so easy for all of us. BetterHelp is customized online therapy that offers video, phone, or even and live chat sessions with your therapist. So you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. You just fill out a questionnaire to help assess your specific needs and you get matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. Then you schedule secure video and phone sessions. Plus you can even exchange unlimited messages. Everything that you share is completely confidential and you can even request a new therapist at no additional charge at any point. And so many people use BetterHelp that they're actually currently recruiting additional therapists in all 50 states. So for for me, one of the biggest things that I've learned recently from my therapist was she told me, people think about you way less than you think they do. And like me being a smart ass, listen, I'm not the best patient in the world. I was like, I already know that quote. I already know that. And she's like, no, really think about it. Give me a person in your life and name as many embarrassing moments about them that you remember. And I'm like, wait a minute. I don't really remember. And she's like, exactly. So why are you so caught up in what might have been embarrassing for you when literally nobody's gonna remember? Like really forcing me to think about it made me realize that the quote does have some sort of meaning. <laughs> okay, it was truly amazing advice. Join the two million plus people who have taken charge of their mental health with BetterHelp. And right now you guys can get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash mango. Did you get that? That's betterhelp.com slash mango. B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P. Ooh, she's a speller. Dot com slash mango for 10% off your first month. And thank you, BetterHelp, for sponsoring today's video. And let's get into it. I used to handle all the camera stuff. And I was like, babe, I'm the YouTuber. You're a nobody. Don't even touch my camera. Like, don't even get near it. You shouldn't even breathe near it. And then um, I asked my fiance for help because I was getting so desperate. I was like, I don't know how any of this works. Why are there so many different variations of tripods? Please. And this is what he bought. This dildo mic being one of them. And he also bought this. Bigger dildo. Bigger dildo. At one point, we're going to have one of those, you know when those filming sets, they do the trolleys? Like the cameraman, they get on those wheeled things. Did you know one time I had a shoot with... Disney Plus, I know she's so cool flexing, but um, I had to pee and I asked into my mic, does the sound guy hear this? And I proceeded to pee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would be walking around the grocery store and like even if the cameras aren't recording, the sound guy is always listening to your mic and I was all mic'd up and I burped because I was so nervous and I was like, I'm so sorry. And I look across and he's got his big headphones on just. Yeah, he definitely heard me burp, for sure, for sure. <laughs> oh my god, sorry, I'm so nervous. <laughs> well, like, they can't see the sound guy. You're not supposed to be seen. Why do you look like that? Oh, okay, well, what you're about to see, hear me out, is not random. It's because Dan Dan is a huge fan of AOT, so I got him a new costume. <laughs> oh, god. oh my god! Bro, it's the most complicated Wait, thing Bro. I've ever I seen. I can't breathe. Can we tie him to the wall or something? What? Oh! Oh my gosh. It's game over. It's game over. Game over! Attack on Titan. Are you Titan? No, you're Titan. Oh, it's real tight. It's a lot tighter than I thought it would be. Oh no, I have not a good feeling about this. Oh at least it drew on the abs for me, so. 
Don't hold on, don't hold on, come on, try. Can we see? Can we see? Yeah. <laughs> Your look, Dada. Whoa! Yes, sir! Wow! Get a shot! Damn! Now you have to run away, and I'm trying to kill you. Shinzo Sasagi! My mom says I look so good. You should use the costume, try to chase me around. At Target. Trying to get arrested. At, how's that not? This is my mugshot. <laughs> <laughs> She's done. Oh my god, and you know what I just realized? I bought a bunch of bikinis. I bought a bunch of swimsuits that I have to try on. Um, let me go get them. I actually bought skims before and they turned me into like a bursting sausage. I don't know what the deal was. I don't know if I got the wrong size. It's supposed to be shapewear. I thought it would make me look a little bit juicier. But instead, it just turned me into literally a bursting sausage. I got swims though, because we're gonna have a pool party. You can't see me, and you're lucky that you can't see me. I'm trying on my first swimsuit. I don't even think, I got my fiance in here because there's no way that I'm gonna be able to zip this up by myself. Don't laugh! It's like a bodysuit! It's sexy, zip me up, thanks. I think it's a little up in the crack. Oh, shit. <laughs> Because I'm trying to have a family friendly pool day. <laughs> I didn't want my boobies out because Sophie would be like, ooh, what are those? And then the new baby would be like, ooh, let me suck on them titties. Maybe it has milk. Hey, did you guys know that's one of my biggest pet peeves when I hold newborns and they be trying to put their mouth on my boob? I just kind of want to smack their head. I don't though because that's illegal. So you want to smack me? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you? So this is the back. I can't imagine like taking off the shorts. <laughs> it's kind of good. I'm wearing a bra underneath, yeah. but if I wasn't, I think my nipples would just be out. Oh, then that's good. That, no, that's bad. No, that's bad. That's bad. <laughs> Do you hear that? I gotta try on the next one. This is not family friendly. <laughs> I just wrote my hand through here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's good. Did I take my lashes off? Stop. This is not what they said by Georgia Peach. This is not the vibe that I was going for. This is actually not how you're supposed to wear the dress. Do you want to see how you're actually supposed to wear the dress? Sometimes when they say it fits everybody, they mean everybody but people with negative sized oh. boobs. Pee hole dress. Are you ready? What? Um, I thought that I could pull what? it out. I feel like as I'm getting older, I kind of want to change into like my MILF era. Like, I. <laughs> I want to go from my regular girl era to my MILF era and I thought this would put me on the express track, the fast track there. But instead, I don't have any mommy milkers. This is what it looks like. It looks like I'm going to church. It's actually a look. There's going to be a bounce house! Look at this! You want me to be yeah. bouncing around? Here you go! What? I look this like I'm good? fucking going to a Zumba class. Yeah, this, this is looks so good. Alright, ladies, now in three, two, we're gonna pump it, pump it, pump it. You look like a construction worker. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm into it. <laughs> <laughs> now, if only I smell like a construction worker. He's more into that. <laughs> Do you guys know what that reference is? Okay. I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like this one. Whoa, that's cute. It's like a stay-at-home set. I got 
have like 10 oh. of these in different colors. It's cute. It's pretty comfortable, not gonna lie. I saw the girls online wore it, and they just are giving MILF, they're giving sexy. I'm giving like elementary school uniform PE outfit. And I don't know why exactly. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the socks. Maybe I need new socks, which by the way. Personal problem. <laughs> Gosh, not the socks with the toes. The toe socks. It's I can't worst. wait to put my grubby little toes in like here that? and just touch, touch my fiance all, all over the place. Why do you like that? Oh god, it's pretty gross. It's just a little. <laughs> it's just a little uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well let me change into the next one. By the way, Ugh. we got a new light. It looks like two ball sacks. Oh, that's cute, babe. That is really cute. Ta-da! Oh, that's very pretty. You think so? Yeah. I feel like this is my milk era. Wow, this... you look like I should take you out somewhere. I love it. It's so comfortable. It's so stretchy. Very different from the orange one you were wearing. Yeah, what is the vibe on that one? That one was giving not sexy. This one is giving semi-sexy. I wow. really like it. I like the neckline. The neckline is cute yeah, too. Yeah, I like it too. So, thank you, thank you. I feel like I'm on a red carpet. Did you wear this today? A bounce house. First of all, yeah. let's just get it straight. A lot is bouncing. You, you're not getting on the bounce house, okay? <laughs> Why am I not you're getting You're not getting on Why am I not getting in the bounce house? Like, That's the only reason I'm going first today. First of all, the bounce house has a weight limit. They're designed to hold 20 pound child. No, and the adults. No. When you go in, so what happens when you if you get in there and you bounce, all the kids gonna <laughs> I bounce it. Boom! They're all off. I'm gonna try on this next. Do you guys even what care to see it on me? Hi, my butt is out. Can you see it? See what? My butt is out. Where? <laughs> like can you see my underwear and uh, my skin? Oh yeah, I can see underwear. Still looking for the <laughs> Okay, you know what the problem is? I buy stuff like this thinking that I'm gonna wear this at the house because it's comfortable, it shows a little butt, it's sexy, I'm gonna feel like an independent woman. <laughs> My mom lives here. Your sister comes over like every other day, okay? There's just a lot of movement, a lot of family vibes in this house, so I can't wear this. But then thinking back when we didn't live with people, I still didn't wear this. Okay, this is how I get all my mukbang stuff. Everyone's like, ooh, where do you go? Sometimes I go on Amazon, sometimes I go on random Asian websites that I feel like are definitely stealing my credit card information. It's just a risk you have to take. These came in yesterday and I've been so excited to open them. Okay, first of all, I got a mug. They shipped me the wrong mug. This ain't the right mug. I was supposed to get this mug, but it'll do. I'm not gonna complain. Are you guys ready? Oh. What? What am I eating out of this? This is why I need to read the dimensions when I buy it's actually cute though. It's so Look at cute. That. I'm so cheap. I don't want to buy a whole set of these. So our house is entirely filled with random ass spoons, random ass one-off mugs. Boom. That's a cute plate. Honey, just you wait. You haven't even seen it yet. Whoa. That's Look at cute. this one. Now are you ready? Wow. But look. That's so cool. Look at that. And then you put. I just went and washed this. Don't call me a dirty, nasty hoe. I'm not. I wanted to try this. I saw this on TikTok. It's kind of gross. Also, everybody has been asking for a Sophie update. She's well and dandy in daycare, except there are some things that we didn't expect her to learn from daycare. Like, you would think she would learn how to talk, how to walk, how to do all the things the kids do these days. You know, start a TikTok account. But instead, the only thing that this girl has learned from daycare is, um... You didn't even tell them that she's going to daycare. Did I not tell you guys? No. I think I posted on Instagram. I'm so sorry. Okay, so Sophie's going to daycare. It's been about two weeks. She... She's still adjusting. Exactly what happens is my mom... My mom... My my sister will drop her off. My mom, that's just where my mental state is. I feel like I'm Sophie's sibling. My sister will drop off Sophie. They will rip Sophie from my sister's arms, run inside, and until about nap time, she's crying. She's crying bloody murder. She acts like she's being held hostage in a bunker somewhere. If she had fingers that worked, she would fucking call CPS on herself. I don't know why she likes, she hates it so much. She just loves home, okay? Then lunchtime comes around, they put food on the table, and suddenly, 
She's so happy. She's like, I forgot y'all feed me. I forgot that I love you guys. Wow, this is great. She takes a fucking nap after lunch. She's good the rest of the day. My mom and my sister said they were so shocked. They went to like five different daycares and this daycare really stood out in the fact that when the kids eat lunch, there's this giant table. You're like, okay, sounds normal, right? There's you know one the teacher. Game? You know, like at arcade, <laughs> whack a mole. <laughs> Picture this, there's a giant table. In the table, not on the side where you would normally sit, in the table, there's random holes. <laughs> and these holes have high chairs that are literally like glued to them. I don't know if they sell this table as is. I don't know, okay, the deal. And they just place kids in the table. So there's just fucking five kids inside the table. <laughs> Literally, we've been sent a picture and you really just want to whack them. I don't know how the teachers don't walk by and whack each one. And they all got like spaghetti all over their faces and shit, and you just you want to whack them. So anyways, she's adjusting well in daycare. She's learning not much. They just play with toys, okay? This is not like wait, preschool. Wait, wait, first of all, what are you doing? <laughs> I saw this on TikTok. Oh no. Oh no, why did I just lick it? Oh no, it's so spicy. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me try it. I'm gonna just take a big bite because if I don't... Mm. My throat burns more than if I had strep throat or when I had hand foot mouth disease. This burns a little bit more than that, but it's so good. Mm. How? Mm. It's like nuclear noodles, but so fresh. It tastes like a summer meal. I gotta eat more. Is it not good? Freaking weird, but kind of is good <laughs> that's so weird it just opens up your nostrils so you're like okay what is the one thing that sophie learned in daycare not how to talk she's not talking yet it's not how to clean up after herself what she learned is and my sister learned this the hard way sophie is turned around away from my sister just standing still that's a suspicious sign. She's always crawling, she's always running, she's always touching things, making a lot of noise. Sometimes if she's pooping, she will squat and be still. But she's standing, like erect, tall, and just standing away. And my sister's like, Sophie, what are you doing? Sophie, she won't turn around. So it's like she knows what she's doing is bad. My sister runs up to her and looks at her face, and she's just... What is that? She learned how to pick her boogers. Oh. And now she bad? just keeps picking her boogers like this. Uh -huh. And when my sister goes, Sophie! She goes, and puts it in her mouth. Was she eating it? She's not eating it. She's pretending like it's not going in her nose, so she's pretending to put it into her mouth instead. Can we give them some nuclear sauce? No. I need to show you this. It's been raining. It's huge! Whoa. It's huge! Wow! That's beautiful! Why Wait, is this dying? Which is the one that we planted? So no, I think it's the one that's dying. Oh, f Literally a week ago, your mom counted how many? Like eight? Yes, and now there's... Can you count right now? One, two, ten, eleven, twenty-four, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-one! That's gross. More flowers than my age. Oh. This one is blue, and right next to it, this one is purple. That's cool. So cool. I look incredibly naked right now. These are what's up for selection. It's so hot outside. I'm trying to go for minimal clothing, but there's gonna be a bajillion kids at this event, so I can't go naked. I like it, it looks cute. You like it? But what would I wear on top? Damn, the kids get a free show today. This feels really... Oh my god, don't look at Emo. Emo is, Emo is going through something. I do want to wear something that I can air out my pits, you know? Oh my god, Sammy! <laughs> look at this dress. It's crochet. It's like oddly tight. Whoa! You like it? Well, surprisingly, it's pretty. It's really pretty, wow. Wow, sorry for judging you. Okay, so I think I can take off the tank top inside, but I gotta wear the shorts because it's, like I said, see-through. This is the energy I wanna give off because my nieces are gonna be there. I'm cooler than your mom, because your mom is a little strict. I'm definitely cooler, but we won't tell her. You like it more than this? That one's for sure young. This looks like 
a little more mature. 12 seconds later. This is the look. I went with the dress. I, I like it. I was going to, but I'm gonna take it off when I start sweating. That's pretty. Oh, I gotta stuff my bag with Sophie's treats. Not her treats, that sounds like she's a dog. These are Sophie's favorite jelly beans. I ordered them, and I'm gonna shove all of them in here. Oh, honey, that's a lot. Yeah, she's not gonna like that after jelly beans. Hi, yeah, cutie! She's huge! Cutie she's a huge one! She's a big she's one! She's a long, long Hi, baby. You, you, she is 10 feet tall. I don't know what happened. I'm so sorry. Do you guys remember Kaya from Mexico? It's her one year birthday. Kaya! Why does no baby like me? That is the cutest! Cutest humbug I have ever seen in my life. She's so right now. Jaden, what's my name? Stephanie. Ah! Can I get a hug, Jaden? Oh, thank you. Okay, let's go to the bounce house. Wait, um, um, Dad, Dad, oh Dad's going in with Sophie. Oh my God. And I guess oh I'm God. going in. Aww. Sophie. Woo! <laughs> And let me just tell you, that was the most exhausting experience of my life. Uh, it was pretty tiring. They had this giant bounce house in the back, and all I could see through the windows, I'm looking out the window of her house, and I just see these miniature humans, these little heads, zooming on by, back and forth through the window, back and forth. They have so much energy. I just don't even, I can't even understand. I can't even comprehend it in my head. I spent most of my time with Sophie and Mia. Oh, let me show you guys the cutest picture of Mia sleeping on top of my fiance. It's so freaking adorable. Impressive, no? Because Mia really hates sleeping, period. Uh-huh. My sister was so sad when we left. I, okay, my sister, honey, you didn't hear this, but my sister literally, I was like, I'm leaving, and she goes, no. <laughs> and I go, yeah, and she goes, I'm losing a babysitter. Not you, though. Him. <laughs> literally in the living room, it was just a bunch of moms holding kids. At some point, they all started swapping kids. I, I know, know that, that sounds, sounds cult, cold. but it's not cult. Like, they were just holding whatever kid happened to be nearby. My sister and randomly ended up with another strange baby. I'm like, who the f is that? I think I'm gonna food coma. The bounce house was incredibly sticky. I don't think that you could have felt that through the video, but it was really, really sticky. And that was my second, no, my third children's party since we moved. I think now that is a sign to move back to LA because I, I'm over it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you check out BetterHelp linked in the description and use my code and I will see you guys tomorrow. If I ever wake up, it's already nine. Uh